Uh, I am so mad right now. Good morning, everybody. Piss is an understatement. Last night when I went to go take my shower, last night when I went to go take my shower, I folded my bathing suit up. I put my shorts that I wear every single day on top of my bathing suit. Came back from the shower, the shorts were gone. Like, as soon as I walked in, I noticed that something was different. I'm like, somebody swiped my shorts. But I didn't want to accuse anybody, so I went through my stuff like a hundred times. Went to all of the bathrooms to see if anything was in there. Absolutely nothing. So yeah, somebody swiped my shorts. I tried to tell the front desk, and she was acting like she didn't understand what I was saying. I said it in Spanish. I said it in English. Um, I even like did some charade type some charade type shit with her she still act like she didn't understand finally she act like she understood and then she's like oh the cameras don't work okay um people in the hostel were like mind you it was only like 20 people in the hostel and they were like um why would somebody deliberately take your shorts are you sure like da -da -da -da. i'm like um yeah people deliberately take shorts because people need shorts you idiot like bro i'm so mad nobody was trying to help me nobody cared but you know what all good whoever got my shorts now here's the thing i didn't want to come off as that mad angry black woman especially because i was the only black person there but now that i think about it i should have went off in their ass my shorts i'm gonna go get you but it's all good anyway i'm on the shuttle going to my 29th country so while somebody stole my shorts they didn't steal my joy and that's all that matters <laughs> So after like 45 minutes of driving, we're at the border and we have to pay an exit fee. It's nine dollars. <laughs> I had to get all this change in my purse because I didn't want to break a big bill. So it's two thousand, three thousand. This is four thousand, and then this is five thousand, which is the equivalent to like almost ten dollars. All right, just pay the fee. Now we have to follow these two guys. I guess to the next bus or over the border. I have no clue. Of course, nothing is easy. So I'm standing this hella long line that's not moving. Oh my God. And it's so hot outside, especially with all my bags. Finally made it to the top. Of course, the line starts moving once we get closer to the front, but it's all good. As long as it's moving, I don't care. Okay, so now our first driver handed us off to our second driver, Louise, which is right there in the front. And I think we're about to cross the border via bridge. Oh, I'm excited. Bye, Costa Rica. Hola to my next country. <laughs> and I think this is the line right here. Oh my God, this is so cool. I'm in one country. I'm in another country. I'm in two countries at once. <laughs> I am just so fascinated. Like this little line put you in a different country. That's just crazy. <laughs> All right, bienvenidos a país numero 29. So once we walked over the bridge into the next country, we had to go through customs. Now, of course, you can't record, but I tried to sneak you all a little something, something. But anyways, here at this window, they ask you why you're in the country, how long you're going to be here for, and the address of where you're staying and also what you plan to do while you're there. Once we were done, they gave us our stamp. We headed back to the van and we drove an extra couple hours to our final destination. Now, the city that I was going to, you had to reach by boat. So in order to get there, we had to drive a little bit longer. I really didn't do much except listen to music and stare out the window and take in the views of my 29th country, you guys. We finally arrived at the docking station and we loaded onto this really low, sketchy boat. 
over some nasty murky water like y'all i didn't know if there were alligators or what in there but the water just looks so gross anyway he loaded our bags onto the boat i sat my ass down i put on my life vest and i was like let's go i was already a little bit nervous because he said that the ride was gonna be like 25 minutes that's a long time to be over some water in this little bitty speedboat anyway sorry about the weird recording i accidentally made this in portrait mode that's why everything is so zoomed in anyways this is the end of the vlog i know that it was very short however i just wanted to show you all what it was like to cross country borders especially by foot now make sure you stay tuned for my next vlog because that will actually be where i introduce where i am and that will officially be my last country on my two-month solo backpacking trip